A crackdown on human trafficking in San Diego County. This week, a prostitution sting in Encinitas led to the arrest of seven men and in an unrelated incident, the rescue of three victims, one of them just 14 years old. Tonight, advocates of child exploitation are speaking out about the role the pandemic may be playing. News 8's Lamore Abrams has more. The men arrested here in Encinitas after allegedly looking for sex online. A business advocate say is booming as the economy melts down in this pandemic. I can see it. I, I ride down the street, I can see it. And they're out there like worse than ever. LaVon Hall would know what it looks like. She was once subjected to the life herself. It's not really a life that you choose. You don't wake up one day and say, I think I want to be trafficked or I think I want to sell my body, you know, and let people take advantage of me. The problem isn't new. Children suffering from poverty have always been easy targets. 30,000 children trafficked each year in the U.S. alone, according to the latest figures. But advocates are seeing the problem getting worse in this pandemic. This is born out of poverty and systemic racism and all of these issues that have come to light during COVID. Cynthia Lovely's organization, Shine San Diego, provides survivors with a path forward, teaching them how to operate their own businesses. But she says today's economic stressors are creating new challenges. You have more people at home. You have more people online. And local law enforcement is cracking down. In Encinitas this week, sheriff's deputies arresting seven men after a five-hour prostitution sting. Deputies arranging for alleged paid sex acts with the suspects online. And in an unrelated incident, deputies following tips from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, rescuing three victims, one just 14 years old. The message tonight is we need help. Hall runs a safe house for survivors, but as the pandemic rages, she says, the need for more beds is growing. There's 8,000 victims and only 40 beds. And in Los Angeles County, one of the nation's main hubs for trafficking, the County Office of Education has just announced a new initiative aimed at teaching students about sex trafficking in schools.